Don't forget the ads feed the ducks and the ducks we're raising this year we're donating to local food banks. If you want to help out the duck adventure, the link below, 50 ducks on a hot tub, you can buy one of these t-shirts, you can donate monthly, you can make one-time donation. And the most important thing you can do is like the video and don't forget to share it guys. Hello everybody and welcome to the Duck Adventure for August the 8th. I'm a, I'm a little bit late today. Actually, this is, a, well, actually it's early afternoon. We had a bit of a curveball last night. Doug had a relapse um, and all night he couldn't breathe very well. This morning I met with the vet at 6.30. Um, and the bottom line is Doug's being too active. Um, you know, he needs more time. He needs more serious rest to heal. I guess the surgery was just a, a, a me. It was a little more major than we thought as far as Doug's body was concerned. So the lump in his neck is really big at night. It get in the morning. It's like a, about one third the size, but with his activity level, he inflames it and the, the fluid buildup gets really big, which is causing some kind of breathing problem. And it takes, uh, well, actually this morning when I took him to the vet, he was just starting to sound normal. So. Doug's on R&R &R, back in the house doing nothing. I think we're going to keep Doug locked up probably I think for another week at least uh, until uh, well until his neck until that lump's gone I think I'm going to I'm going to keep a real close eye on him as much as he'd like to come out and, and believe me he really wants to come out back. Mo, you are unbelievable. And look at him, he's heading straight back. He was, I couldn't, I can't believe how fast he can run. I chased him around the yard, guys. Uh, I bet you uh, two laps around the yard before I caught him with the net. But he's going straight back. Mo, oh man, I don't believe you. You're unbelievable. So there's not many ducks out in the, up in the yard, maybe a couple hundred, and I came down and there's none down on this end of the bay. Uh, but I was just grabbing the camera to go back because you know Mo's just headed back without me, and I heard some quack and a little faint off in the background, and uh, the ducks are down there again at the uh, far end of the lake. You can just hear them quacking away ever so faintly. Uh, the food must be really good down there. Oh, Mo's still down there. He's at the kayak. Hey, duck, why are you down here? I think you're the same duck that's been down here for two days. Maybe even three days, guys. But it doesn't look like it's got any foot damage. It's actually, it's an adult. It's a breeder, guys. I wonder if it's got a nest down here. I just saw the pink bands, so that's a breeder. She's been down here, I'm trying to think here, like maybe today's day three that I know about. I can't believe I could turn around in the mouth of the creek, you know, <laughs> it's like, oh, they really drilled this out. Actually, guys, the little island that used to be right there is almost gone. Yeah, that little girl is a little breeder. I wonder why she's staying down here. Well, we're going to go down to the other end of the lake and see how many ducks are down there. We're going to head down to the uh, far end of the lake here. I want to see how many ducks are uh, down in this uh, bay. Plus, I just saw the blue herring take off, so he's obviously using the ducks uh, to flush out his uh, food because I've seen what the ducks do. You know, they make the, the, you know, the minnows and the, and the frogs scatter. So it makes sense that the, the blue herring is hanging around with them. You know, he's, he's using my ducks.
actually, guys, you can really smell it down here, uh, the swamp. It smells like fresh, uh, dug up swamp. I guess the ducks are just uh, drilling like crazy. And that's causing, uh, you know, lots of minnows and frogs to come out. And that's why the blue herring's hanging around with them. Actually, earlier today when I got back uh, from the vet, the blue herring was uh, in my yard, which is just unbelievable. I, I guess he came up looking for the ducks. It was sort of strange because he freaked the ducks right out uh, when he was up in the yard, but yet down here in the lake, they're used to him. All right, for the amount of missing ducks, this is not enough ducks down here. Because the yard has next to no ducks in it compared to uh, what there should be. And this is the only group that's down here. It actually looks about the same size of group that was here before. It's probably the same ducks. You know, I thought for sure there'd be a lot more down here because the yard has next to no ducks, really. And the, it doesn't make any sense. Where are the rest of the ducks on the lake? They gotta be in the bulrushes somewhere. I'm gonna go for a quick cruise around and see if I can find any other spots they're hiding. Well, I've, I've lapped the whole lake, not a sign of a duck, so I don't know where they're hiding because uh, for what I'm missing in the yard, what's over there is not enough ducks. So I have no idea where the ducks are hiding. Unless they're back there where I can't, that's where, it, I bet you they're back in that spot where I can't get to. It's the only thing that makes any sense. I'm gonna go back there and see if we can hear anything. Okay, not a sound back here. And usually you can hear them, you know, quacking or something. So I have no idea where all the ducks are. This, there's a, there's, I, I probably say there's 100, 150 ducks that I can't visualize for because uh, what's in the yard does not tally up to the number. So I, I don't know. Unless they found some other, I know once I heard them back farther on the other side. So maybe they're going deeper and deeper into the bulrushes. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show. This little female, I don't get her. I try to get close to her and she won't let me get close. She can swim really, really strong. Though, you know, I don't know. I don't know why she's staying down here, but she just keeps floating around here. Uh, you know, like I said, this has got to be three, four days. It's been a long time since I've spotted her down here. I don't get it. And I can't find my missing ducks anywhere. I have no idea where the ducks are. I've looked all over and I'm, uh, I've lapped the whole lake. Not a sign of them. Not a noise, anything. It's like, it's like about 150 ducks just disappeared. But we'll see them tonight. You know, they'll, they'll come back into the yard and there'll be a big duck train coming back to strip the feeder. I decided to let them in early today. Poor little duckies were all waiting for a snack. All right, hey Recon, what do we got here today? It seems I'm only getting one egg a day. Oh, there's one egg. Oh, two eggs, guys. Oh, I'm excited. All right. Nope, that's it. Two eggs. Well, two's better than nothing. I could use more than two, though, because uh, I'm going through... Uh, one egg a day just for Doug's medicine. It's the only way I can get him to make sure he drinks uh, or eats everything, I should say. Uh, they look like Muscovy eggs, too. They got a slight beigey tinge to them. Oh, there's my little dog. Oh, Dougie. You really want out bad, don't you? Poor dog. I know. Eh? You got a little bit of a tease coming out, and then all of a sudden now you're back in. You haven't done anything wrong, Doug. We just got to get you better. You scared me last night when you couldn't breathe right. Let me just hear you. Oh, you're nice and quiet. That's the way you have to sound, Doug. You shouldn't have that constant snoring sound. Well, we'll see what the vet says on Tuesday. 
even little, even little, even Andrew was worried about you. Man, my vet, I think he'd actually take Doug if I offered him, because uh, he really likes him. Of course, who couldn't like a dog like this? He's so awesome. Hmm. He's a snuggle bunny and the ultimate protector all in one. <laughs>
And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.